Matt is with me now uh, and has more uh, grumps. Hello, Matt. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for joining us, Matt. Uh, what is it that gets you going, Matt? Do you know, at the moment, what gets me going is um, computer hackers. OK. I have no idea how many hours I've spent over the last three months taking steps to stop people breaking in to my websites that I produce. Really? And it really irritates me. Yeah, yeah. It's it's rife at the moment. There are, well, I think last month there were about a million and a half websites in the world that were defaced um, by hackers. So w- w- the problem is now is that this is not some clever, um, highly skilled person somewhere working out how to get into a computer they're using tools which are readily available uh, and they're just running these programs they call them script kiddies Uh, they don't actually have any skills but they just use um, pre-built tools to do it and all I get all the time are people trying to break in it's a complete nightmare so that so the, the the equipment is out there for people to to get and buy to enable them to do this don't even have to buy it. You just it's a free, there's a free suite of software that you can download from the internet, That's which bonkers. gives you practice. Which yeah, it gives you. I think there's about 300 to 400 different tools there for breaking into wireless networks, into websites, into whatever you can think of, and it's all there. And it and it provides the uh, and what they're actually called, they're called penetration testing tools. So it's a suite of tools that you're supposed to use to ensure your sites are. Um, secure, but of course they're used by um, black hat people to break into websites. I, I was up till 2.30 in the morning a couple of nights ago on the phone to um, a, a server company that I deal with talking about another way of break, stopping people. I had 20,000 requests from one location in America trying to uh, uh, attack a login. Uh, and that isn't legitimate. So that really and, annoys and me so at the are moment. And so are these people? Are, are these people in their back bedroom then doing this? Is this what it is? Possibly, yes. What what it what it most definitely is. I subscribe to a couple of newsletters, and it tells you where the source of the traffic is on a kind of scale um, and what countries it comes from. And what it is is actually organised crime. Okay, so basically, there's organised crime. What they're trying to do is deface people's websites, inject perhaps Google AdSense, which is a way of generating money. And then, and then sending a load of traffic to that website to generate money themselves. So, it's it's organised crime mainly. Yeah, it's like the Wild West, isn't it? It's horrendous. Yeah, it's very, very annoying. And this is part of my business, and it really annoys me that I'm spending so much time on something that I don't make enough money out of. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it makes you consider whether or not you need to be mm. worrying about it at all and let someone else do it. But yeah, it's very annoying and it's a legitimate grunt really and i'm sure lots of uh people are in the same boat as well uh, and for the uh, the the ordinary computer user i mean they they need to have their wits about them as well don't they i mean i i'm on facebook and let me just have a look and see if i've had any this morning um sally will tell you um just how many times i end up getting um very well facebook friend requests from an allegedly <laughs> Uh, gorgeous I, women around the world offering I me all sorts of things. I don't know what you've done to get those, but I, I don't get them. I don't know what you've been doing. Well, I've obviously clicked on something you at some point, have, haven't yes. I? <laughs> the, 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 the correct thing to do, if you have time, is to report those. Oh, really? So I get them, I get them on Facebook quite oh, often. Oh, so you've I clicked on it as well on, then, OK. <laughs> I, also, <laughs> I also get them on Instagram. And um, I've, uh, Instagram, funnily, are very, very, uh, are really on the ball. I've been uh, sent friend requests on Instagram. It's blatantly obvious it's a spammy account because it's a, a woman generally showing very little. Um, <clears throat> so I will report yeah. that. And in almost maybe three or four hours later, I've had messages from Instagram saying, thank you for reporting it. We've taken that account down. So okay. don't you get these things people Sam? need to do. No, I don't know. From either strange, you know, strange men strange or strange, men strange women. Or strange no. women. Anybody else here in here in the hub have had any odd requests from? Stra- no, they're all shaking their head. It's just clearly you. It's just me and Matt then. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Gen- gen- generally, Thanks. men will be targeted by women rather than the other way around because women are generally more careful about who they accept friend requests from, whereas men are ego driven and therefore, if a pretty lady says, "Can I be your friend?" they go, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah." yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, I've had my wits about me. They're offering too much too soon uh, for, to be genuine friends, I have to say. Yes. Uh, Matt, thank you very much. It's good to talk I to you. all upbeat now. No, it's good. It's, that's what this is about. It's exactly the reason for doing it. You, feel, you, you get it off your chest, you feel a whole lot better. I thank you very like much. I've been to an expensive Harley Street psychiatrist. Yeah, and morning. I feel like Fraser Crane this morning. I'm listening. I'm listening. 